Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. We are on 1,363, sorry, server 1,363. I got a tip today or last night, depending what time zone you're in, uh, in SVS from uh, player X marks the spot on server 377, I think that's who we're playing. They said, I'm not sure if it's a guy or girl, I think it's a guy, but the avatar is a female, so, you know, always confusing. Anyways... They said that on new servers, they have new puzzles. So Ebony has a new way to bring people in. And look at this. You see the cloud? So I guess they've taken this from, uh, <clears throat> what's that crappy game they give us? The, the treasure, pyramid treasure thing? Whatever, Mayans, the Mayas. Tr pyramid of Mayas. And how there's clouds and you got to unlock them. Anyways, here's this city. So you start out, and this was all clouded, but I solved a puzzle. So I unlocked some of it. And if you click on those buttons, the, these little icons, the, the magnifying glass, um, anyways, you click on it and you'll do a puzzle and you'll open up the world. So I guess this is kind of like intriguing to the player who comes in with puzzles and is like, oh my God, what else is here? Maybe if I spend money with Amazon coins, I can unlock the city faster and cheaper. So maybe, that it, maybe their mind hasn't been wrapped around that yet. Maybe they haven't got to the coining part, but they will because surely you're going to want to unlock your city faster. So why not get a 20% discount? Anyways, let's uh, open these up. So look at this. Octopus at the bottom or squid or whatever this is down here, right? So these are new. So they got some uh, different features in here. They're kind of the similar though. So I think I open this, the lava will spread over and kill the octopus. Then I can go across. Hopefully I don't get burned. Oh yes, I saved myself. And now I got to block, yeah, block the spikes. Oh, don't want to share that. That'd be embarrassing to let people know I play this game. So let's, uh, let's go to the regular puzzles here. So that's a regular one. Let's uh, see some of the other stuff here. So I don't feel like playing that one. Oh, they unlock whether you're successful or not. So it makes you always feel like you're winning in Ebony. And I guess that kind of would encourage you to want to spend more, right? Like, I know that's how I feel. If I win, I want to spend and just give my hard-earned money to Ebony. So let's see. Can we get by the fire? I want to get eaten by one of those squids. Let's see the animation. Ebony probably puts a lot of money into the animation on the puzzles. And, uh, oh, I can't go to it yet. I got to wait five minutes rather than fix their laggy servers, right? So that's the important thing. Rope people into the game. Make them think that it works properly, that it has cool graphics, that it's a different game. And then hopefully they start to spend money. That's a good strategy, I guess. Um, the, the sad thing is, is that the game's actually pretty good and people really like the game. Like when people leave the puzzle stage and they start playing the game, they actually like it. No one starts playing the game and is like, oh man, I wish there was more puzzles. So Ebony could actually just promote their game and they would do totally fine. They could work on some animations in that, maybe let you in Battlefield use different formations instead of in the military academy uh, up here somewhere where it, you, uh, you do science and research on formations. Wouldn't it be cool if you actually could do formations on the battlefield? Like, I'm going to put my mounted troops, my horse on the side and flank them when they're distracted by my ground troops or my archers in the back row and ha have an actual meat shield. Or how about the higher level my wall is, my archers have more range on them and they can shoot further. Things like that. But no, Ebony just uh, has a mathematical formula and you press attack and you see what happens. All right, so before we sign off here, we'll just take a look around the map. Just uh, see how many people got roped into this game with puzzles. Oh, wow. And they have Meyer squids this weekend. We don't. We have Sphinx still. Um, I kind of forget the Meyer squids. But it's funny to see different bosses on different uh, servers. So I wonder how many of these people actually are humans. I have a funny feeling that Ebony just puts tons of keeps on a new server. So it seems active because it would be boring if you signed up and it was like, hey, anybody out there? Whoa, whoa, what do we got here? This looks a level that looks like a keep 10. I don't believe I've seen this uh, city before. Did this person spend money and get that and they're only at keep 10? I don't know what's going on. But here's their alliance flag. 
and quite a few members. Sometimes I wonder, does Ebony uh, create fake alliances also early on? Because there's a whole lot of alliances early on on a server, and like it's just like empty players, like they don't do anything. And here's a camp, and names are still Monarch. Wonder if I go to the center of the map, will I see? any alliances here they should be right like if there's actual players who know what they're doing someone should have propped up an alliance really close to the throne and kind of marked their territory so here's a level 13 i guess they're getting new keeps that we don't get maybe if i go into the city i'll be able to see in uh, uh i gotta advance the town hall a bit probably to be able to see other stuff and I really don't care. Anyways, just wanted to let you guys know how uh, Ebony's new marketing campaign is going. They put lots of money into new puzzles to rope people in, but uh, won't fix their servers. Genghis, like, subscribe, leave a comment.